Hey guys, welcome to another unboxing with Tomo's Tech. Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing the Chill Blast WAP micro system. Apparently the, the WAP stands for Work and Play. So I'm not sure how good it's going to be at play, but I think work it probably will manage. So this system costs just £99.98 pence from eBuyer in the UK. The specs are as follows. So it's got an Intel Atom X5 Z8350 processor with four cores and four threads at 1.92 GHz per core. It comes with two megabytes of L3 cache. It comes with two gigabytes of DDR3 which is soldered onto the board. It comes with 32 gigabytes. It says it's a solid state disk in the description, the manufacturer's description. But it's just going to be um, a 32 gigabyte NAND flash, uh, as you normally get on these uh, these systems. It comes with Windows 10 Pro, the 32 bit version, um, and it has onboard audio, onboard Intel HD graphics, which will run at resolutions up to 4K, 30 frames per second, or 30 megahertz. Networking wise, it comes with gigabit Ethernet. Uh, and 802.11 Wi-Fi which supports A, B, G and N networks. It comes with a power adapter and on the actual unit itself we have connectivity. We've got one USB 3 port, two USB 2 ports, one LAN port which is a gigabit Ethernet, one HDMI port for your display an integrated SD card reader and it also comes with a VESA mount so you can actually attach it to the back of a monitor so you can hide it well out of the way. It comes with a one year standard warranty which is collect and return. So without further ado we'll get it unboxed. It, um, it actually comes in a very plain box uh, there's not really any marketing or anything on there um, almost every side of the box has no information on it apart from this one which just has a few bits and pieces, a bit of a description. So we'll take it out of the box and see what's inside. So we have a, looks as though it'll be a badly written Chinese manual type thing, um, which we don't really need to, to look at. We've got the VESA mount, which I'm not going to be using today. Sorry, I'll just keep that in shot. Um, we also have the power supply. And then it looks like we have the PC itself. So we'll just take that out of the bag and have a look. So it's got a nice Intel logo on there. Got some connectivity that side and a power button. Feels quite solid. Um, more connectivity on the on the back. I'm assuming this is because we've got the power display and audio out, etc. Uh, nothing on this side nothing on this side and underneath we've just got the mount to get it onto the back of a screen so <clears throat> just see if there's anything else in the box I don't think there will be nope so we'll move the box out of shot and we'll get this set up so I'll just remove all of the the packaging take the power supply out nice UK plug because I'm in the UK and this is apparently manufactured in the UK by a UK company called Chill Blast. Although I have a feeling it may be outsourced elsewhere. I'm going to use the, the mount, I'm just going to chuck that out of the way. Uh, so off camera I am just going to set the PC up and we'll run some tests. Okay. I'll put a timer on the bottom of the screen here so you can see how long it takes to start up. Although I said admittedly the first start up so it may take a, a little while longer. I am just currently running it through a standard HD television. I've, uh, I've not got it running on a, uh, a 4K display. Got 
the usual just a moment that you get when Windows 10 first starts up. And then you get some uh, interesting artifacts on the uh, on the video here. Okay, it's not uh, not particularly quick, so I'm just going to uh, go off camera and get a couple of bits set up so we can get into Windows. Okay, so I've managed to get into Windows uh, with my account and uh, I've put a few benchmarking tools on here so we can run some tests, see what, what things are like. So first things first, we'll go into, uh, into the PC and have a look at some of the hardware um, so with the basic installation so some of the updates have started to download um, so uh, it, some of the space is taken up with temporary files but the Windows installation uses about 10.4 gigabytes um, leaving 17.9 gigabytes free which is very much to play with uh, so what I've done, I've actually attached uh, an external drive and I'm using that for additional storage. Um, so if we right click on this PC and click properties, I want to know if it's a fully activated copy of Windows 10 Pro. So Windows 10 Pro, there we go. Got manufacturer chill blast. Uh, this confirms the Intel Atom X5 Z8350 CPU at 1.44 GHz. That's lower than what I originally said, um, but it does turbo up to the speed that I quoted earlier on in the video. We've got 2 GB of RAM, and it's 32-bit operating system with an X64-based processor. Uh, we've actually got a phone number for support from Chill Blast, which is quite unusual um, for a, a smaller company. So we can see there at the bottom of the screen, Windows is activated. So, yep, it is a, a full copy of Windows 10 Pro on a PC that costs less than £100, brand new. Uh, okay, so we shall run some benchmarks. First things first, we'll go into Crystal Disk Mark 6 and we'll check to see how fast the uh, the NAND flash uh, is. So I'll just run the tests. Okay guys, so <clears throat> Tests have now come in. Uh, as you can see, it's not it's not the fastest storage in the world, but it's not too bad um, considering the the price of it. Okay, so next uh, we're going to run Cinebench and have a look at see what what comes of the uh, the Cinebench test. I'm having to use an old version of it because this is uh, Windows 32 bit, so the the latest versions of Cinebench just don't work on 32-bit PCs. So I'm back to release 11.5 which is from 2013. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll run the tests and see what happens. Okay, so we'll run the OpenGL test first. Okay, so the OpenGL test, we got 3.05 frames per second, which is appalling. Uh, we'll try the CPU test now. Well, the results are in. Unfortunately, the, the PC uh, couldn't handle recording the screen and running Cinebench all together. So the, the results, it came out at 0.25, the score, which is appalling, absolutely appalling. So the, this PC, really, it's not 
it's not for doing anything intensive at all. It's okay for word processing and uh, probably it's okay for word processing and maybe some not very complex spreadsheet work. Uh, other than that, it's um, you can't throw much at it. So. On that bombshell, I'm going to end it here, um, but I would appreciate if you'd hit the subscribe button below and also hit the notification bell to make sure you get notified when I upload new content. Uh, I will be revisiting this PC again at some point in the future, so if there's anything you want me to throw at it, put it in the comments below and I'll uh, I'll endeavour to do my best to, to do that for you. Thanks for watching.